Hello everyone, so this time I would like to share a really short video on one specific issue that I recently encountered again. I usually don't use closed default avatars, but recently I had to. And I thought this issue was resolved some versions ago, but I can see it's back again. And I've also seen this issue in other people's work, so I wanted to share a quick tip on how to resolve it. Um, basically, if you already know about this issue and you know how to resolve it, you don't need to watch this video because I will not tell you anything new. But if you have no idea about it, but you want to resolve it, I can give you some simple tip. And I will also explain a little bit of a background why this happens. So it's not just with closed default avatar, it also happens with DAS avatars or any other avatars that have optimized mesh. And by that, I mean mesh that is not super fine, mesh that is pretty big. So therefore, this file is not very heavy and therefore the software can run rather fast. If you would have very high resolution avatar with a really, really small mesh, you know, the, it, the, the file would be so heavy and the software would run much slower. So actually, this is a pretty good thing to have this type of avatar. However, when you work with tightly fitted items like these leggings and when you put them on particle distance 5 you will start to see these lines appearing so this is caused by the avatar's mesh and especially in render when you apply a nicer light setting and you have more shadows these the surface will be much more visible and it will not be smooth. It might be that it's okay, um, really depends on the quality standard that you have. I am rather a perfectionist and I, I like all the shapes and surfaces to be really smooth and beautiful and clean, so this look is really bothering me and I really really don't like it. So that's why I always fix it. So some versions ago, when you clicked on close avatar, there was a very easy way how to solve this issue. You would have a really small checkbox called divide mesh. You would check it. It would divide the mesh and then the surface would become much smoother. So it was a very quick way how to fix it. But now I couldn't find it. I assume they have removed it for I don't know what kind of reason. But there is a workaround how we can get the smooth surface with not a lot of effort. Basically, you have to export the avatar as FBX or OBJ. Export as FBX might cause more claw crashes because I just recorded this video several times and I've so many times my crow clashed. Crow clashed. <laughs> My claw crashed and so yeah if you export as FBX the good thing is that you keep the rig if you export as OBJ your rig will be gone but then it might be that your claw will not crash as much anyway so I will export as FBX and I will try to avoid crash as much as possible so first thing I will delete the item of course make sure you save it and then I will go file export FBX, I will call it one and I will not um, change anything here because honestly I have no idea what, what this is or whatever, but just keep it as it is, press OK, let your computer think about it, export it and then undo, get your item back and then make sure you save it, delete the avatar and then file import add fbx i would uncheck automatically add arrangement points because did this crashed my computer and then i would uncheck this because this messed with the position of the avatar somehow and then press ok and hope claw doesn't crash oh perfect so the avatar is here i will save it because I think it might crash. I will call it two. 
Okay, one small tip here. When you import the FBX avatar, make sure you adjust the skin offset. You will be surprised how many times my items have blown up because I haven't changed the skin offset. And then, once you click on the avatar, you will see this property appearing, divide mesh. So when we had the original default close avatar, you couldn't see this but with fbx export you can actually see it and then you click on it oh it didn't crash amazing so the level one is completely enough and then if you change the view you can see the mesh is much smaller so i would do as a very very last step make sure you have saved the file um, and make sure you have the pose and everything i think that's the easiest way how to handle it and if you change to rig, you can see that the rig is still here. So that's that's advantage of exporting as FBX. Okay, now what I will do, I will freeze the item because sometimes this helps to avoid the crash. And now I will simulate. Yes, it will crash for sure. Yep. Okay. Well, pretty much every time it crash. <laughs> so I guess this is maybe not very um, avoidable. So it's really good to have it saved. Okay, I'm back. I will open the project. I divide the mesh and now I will save it. Okay, and simulate, and it didn't crash. I think somehow it really has to crash. <laughs> I don't know why, but if it crash, don't worry. Next time when you open, it will not crash. But what is good, you can see, oh, I should put this on zero. You can see that now the surface is completely smooth. There is no lines, it is very beautiful. And I think it is really worth the effort. And if we go in the render view, I, I think it looks much better than the original with all the lines. So yeah, I hope this tip is useful for you if you work with tight fitted items. Also when you have tops and you use fabrics like silk and they're very um, how to say delicate fabrics even through even if you have like a flowy shirt even through that the mesh will come so yeah you can use this method for all kinds of items so just keep it in mind that you really have to constantly save and Chloe will crash so don't worry about it and hopefully <laughs> soon they will put this option back we can hope for that Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this tip was useful and you have any comments, please let me know and have a great day. Bye!